Hello everybody, I want to show you how to record audio into DaVinci Resolve. It's pretty much similar to recording audio into different software or DAW. Okay, so let's start it. So the first thing we need actually is a computer, obviously. Uh, we need an interface and then we need a cable to connect the interface with the computer. We need an XLR cable, we need a microphone, a condenser microphone or dynamic microphone either way and also a small microphone stand or one of those boom arm that you can attach to your desk. Okay, so the first thing we will do is connect the interface with the computer. For that, we use the cable that comes with the interface. Uh, some of those cables are Type-C already and some of those cables are regular uh, USB cables. Depends on the interface and also depends on your computer. Okay, the next thing that we gotta do is to connect the microphone into the interface. So let's get the XLR cable for the male part and connect it to input number one. And the other part into the microphone. Okay, uh, now remember that this is a condenser microphone, so it needs phantom power. In the back of this interface, there's actually a button that we need to press in order to make sure the phantom power is sent to this microphone so that way it can operate. So let's check it out real quick. As you can see, this interface has a button in the back to activate the phantom power. So we're gonna press it and the light should light up. And it's orange. So now we're ready uh, to send the signal to the computer. We place the microphone in a small stand or you can buy one of those boom arm that sells on Amazon that you can attach to your desk. Okay, so now let's open DaVinci Resolve. All right guys, the first thing we gotta do is to make sure that we have selected the proper interface that we're using. So we're gonna click on DaVinci Resolve, go to Preference, let's select Video and Audio I.O. And then on where it says Input Device, as you can see, we have Complete Audio 6, which is the interface that I'm using, so I'm gonna leave it on. This is for the input. And the output, it says MacBook Pro Speakers. So that means we're gonna listen the audio through the speakers. So I'm gonna select it and then click Save. And then we're gonna go into the Fairlight tab, once we're here, we're going to create a mono track. So we're going to click on the empty space, right click on it, and then select mono. We're going to highlight it, and then we're going to label BO, because that's what we're going to use it for. And then on the right side, on the mixer, let's select the channel. We're going to click where it says no inputs. We're going to click on it and select inputs. And then as you can tell, this is my destination. This is my BO track. And then we're going to select the input channel that we're using. In this case, we're using channel one, which is this right here and then this one is selected and then view is selected and then we're gonna click on patch and they're already patched let's close the window and then we should be able to hear ourselves through here once i select record test one two and, and now we're recording audio straight into davinci resolve as you can tell Okay, that's pretty much it to record one track, but let's say we want to record another track. So let's click on the empty space, right click on it and select another track. Let's click on mono. Let's say you want to add one more track. And let's say for instance, you have uh, two audio tracks that you're going to be recording um, voiceovers in between. Maybe it's a female or a different character. So I'm going to click over, it says no input yet on track number four, but let's label it first. Let's label BO female. Select OK, select the track, I mean, it's, already, it's already been selected, so we're going to go into A4, click on No Input, Inputs, and as you can tell, it's been selected, but we need to unpatch first before we patch it. So we unpatch the patch with you first, and then we select BO, and then BO Female, and then we select the input number one, click on Patch, and then now we have two channels assigned to input number one from my interface. So whenever I want to record on one or the other, I can just do it real quick without repeating this process again. So I'm gonna click on the X, close this window, and when I select it, test one, two. Hello, this is a test, this is on the voice female, and then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna record on the male, male female, let's say that, I'm gonna record, test, this is another test, and for the voice over for the male. And now I can record uh, every channel individually without repeating the same process. And you can do that to as many tracks as you wish. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as a thank you. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Put a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.